today I'm filming my Project Pan update. This will be my third update in the Project Pan Roulette and I have actually finished one product and that product is the e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator and I have completely cleared that out. The packaging broke on it so I actually had to depot it into a jar and I finished that up as well so I will pick a new product at the end of the video but let's go through the rest of the stuff okay the first product is the hard candy take it off makeup remover and I'm right here so it looks like this was my first update from the beginning to my first update so there must have been a lot of air in there because it's been pretty steady since then this is where I am right now mostly it's a little bit lower probably because I marked like this in my hair thing like two days ago I think uh, but I didn't get a chance to film but I really needed the really bright light that we had that day to see through these this bottle so I went ahead and marked it then but I have used it a little bit since so it may be slightly lower then I have my dot perfume and I'm about halfway done with this right now and I'm not marking on the bottle so I will insert a picture I just don't like how it looks on my shelf to have marker on the bottles and it's pretty noticeable progress each time so hopefully I will be able to finish this up in like another month and a half maybe um, if I'm going at the same pace I actually really like this and I'm going through it probably more quickly than I would other perfumes because I actually like to smell like this at night too so I'll spray it on before I go to bed too so I can smell like it at night which I don't do with everything but I do really like dot then I have the benefit Benetint and I am right there it's still fairly steady but this time I did not use as much because I've been using different lip colors I got a whole bunch of liquid lipsticks and I've been using those instead a lot so I am only about right there it's possible I could finish this by the end I've got five months on this and I'm not even halfway through and I'm maybe a third of the way through this bottle so it's possible I could actually finish this in the time but I will have to keep working on that then I have the Macadamia Healing Oil Treatment, and this one is also pretty steady. It's right there. Again, this one may be slightly lower than what it's showing, because um, I have used it since I marked it, but it's about the same, and I'm, again, steady progress, so possibly. But I do, I do actually really like this, so for some reason it's not finished it's not going to be that big a deal. Then the one that I can't show any progress on, I'll just have to use it till it's gone or not, is the MAC Prep and Prime Vibrancy Eye Primer and I use this before any correcting concealer just to keep it from like caking up. Then I really was hoping that I would have enough pan on this to be done with it for a while or at least done with it in the project pan I would probably still use it maybe not as heavily because kitten is a nice color it just it doesn't actually go with everything you think it would because it's so like light but it doesn't actually go with everything so I'd like to use some things that it actually doesn't go with sometimes but instead you know I have to make do with kitten and I am oh can we see that I don't want to spill all that excess can we see that it'll be better in the picture that I take but this is super crumbly so it's actually really easy to get the pan however what happens a lot of the time is it pushes up product and loosens the product so it's a big mess now so I would like to at least get enough where I can stop using it for a little while that will that should actually probably be by next update I thought it would be this one 
I've tested the brush to see just how wide it is, and it's not quite the length of like the e.l.f. concealer brush. So I was going to try to get to that length. So just a little bit more to go, and hopefully it will be done next time. Okay, and then my next one is the Holika Holika Sweet Cotton Pore Cover Powder. And I am right there on it. This is going by pretty quickly. And a lot of loose powders do that for me. They kick up a lot. I end up wasting a lot of product because it ends up flying all over the place. So, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if that's done in another month. That went really quickly so far. Then I have the Urban Decay Radium Pencil, and I'm right there. I actually am quite tired of this. Um, I have it today just kind of smudged into the lower lash line. I just took a brush and rubbed it on there and just kind of went in there. Uh, I just didn't want it that heavily blue. Seeing I was using the ColourPop blue shadow, this one that's in my makeup basket, I did not want so much blue. So, yeah, I've tried quite a few things on this. I even actually tried to use it as a lip liner. I have not yet put it in the crease. I'll have to play with that. But I even tried to use it as a lip liner, and while it was actually a really pretty color on the lips, it's not a consistency meant for being on the lips. So as soon as I put my lips together, like what I did is I put this on, and then put this on over it to try to kind of make it like a bluish, like a purplish blue. And as soon as I put my lips together, it like pulled up patches of this. So it's obviously not meant for <laughs> doing that kind of thing. Now maybe it would work if you just lined it, but I actually put it all over and it didn't work for that so and it's a shame because that would have actually used this up quite a bit because I actually like pretty much wore it down and had to sharpen it for that but it, it just it did not work and the last thing that I have is the Tarte emphasized Amazonian clay waterproof liner in brown and this one I have previously used on my brows but I have not been during the summer it's just been for one thing hot and it melts off but also it's very harsh looking so and I don't I don't actually mind that during the winter but I did not like that recently so I've been using powder instead or like today where I forgot to put anything on but I've forgotten a lot of things today like I realized I'm wearing my velcro thing <laughs> So, I just decided to go with it instead of trying to fix my hair again. But, this is where I am. I got a little bit of pan outside that tiny thing, just like off to the side a little bit. This morning, you can't see it anymore. It kind of um, went away. It's one of those ones where as you move product, it covers and uncovers pan. Uh, I have been using this as liner like this today. I am not great with the gel liner, but I've been using one of these like angled brushes and that helps a little bit. So that is it for the progress on the products that I I'm still working on. I do get to pick a new product today, so I'll go ahead and do that. And here's my bowl. It's just been sitting on the lower shelf of my vanity waiting. So let's pick something and hope that it's something easy this time. I don't want a lip product or eye product. So cross your fingers that it's something good, something easy, just to get some numbers down because obviously these other ones are going to take quite a bit of time still.
Okay, this was not easy. Um, this one is a color that doesn't work for me. So, for the most part, I try to get things that do work for me. Um, other than, you know, not generally being a fan of blue and not thinking it looks great on me, you know, it's, I can work with it, but there are some colors that are just way too much, I guess, and the problem is, is those lip colors are the things that I tend to get, not blush or eyeshadow or anything like that, so I guess this one is going to have to be a lip color. Um, so this took me a while to find. I was really hoping that in the mess of lip stuff I would be able to find something that was smaller and maybe would go by a little bit quicker but I really didn't have anything. I think I got rid of a lot of those colors in my last declutter. So the thing that I have that probably looks the worst on me outside of you know some of the odd color ones that just honestly really don't look good on anyone and I even did some swatching <laughs> to see how it worked but so the one that I picked is also I picked based on you know I would like to move some of the more expensive things that I bought and some of my older things out as well so the thing that I picked was this, and this is the Lime Crime Lipstick in Great Pink Planet. I actually got this quite some time ago. It was before it was reformulated, so it was like, I think this one is actually non-vegan. I think they say that the new one is, but at the time this one wasn't, and it was reformulated. And it is this bubblegum pink color. This, like, really light blue pink just does not work for me. It's not a good color for me at all, and I've got so much left of it. Hopefully, the stain will be enough to change the color to a more wearable thing. I can also obviously top it with other things and that might be helpful. Luckily, the Benetint is also a cheek product which I use like all the time. I actually really enjoy it as a cheek product. So this is it. Unfortunately, this is it. So that hideous color right there. Not hideous if it looks good on you, but it is quite hideous on me. Alright, that is everything for this Project Pan update and my very disappointing selection. I obviously should never play Real Roulette. So, <laughs> I have terrible luck. So that is everything. If you haven't seen my first video, I will link it off to the side here, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.